Oh. <laughs> now we're live. Uh, Tommy Sclera from Car Show Safari, what's up? We are at the, uh, I don't know, <laughs> we're, we're here. We're in Goleta right. at the Elks Lodge. Not for the reason that you would normally go to an Elks Lodge. No, not to drink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But other than that, we're here for a car show, which is happening right behind us everywhere. Uh, and we're going to tour you guys around. Well, Tommy's got something he's going to do. I'm going to tour you around, and then we'll hook up with you afterward. We're, it's a cur turquoise, blah, turquoise car day. Yeah, it's okay. Just do that again. We'll cut that out later. Okay, we'll cut oh, it wait, out later. Oh, wait, it's live. We can't. Yeah. Uh, Bruce, Forget that. Bruce Page is watching. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, we're going to tour you guys around. Look at some cool cars. Okay. See you in a bit. Uh, it's kind of, a tur kind of a turquoise day. I almost whacked into somebody's walking by. It's a turquoise day here. Look at that. Just uh, some beautiful cars. Uh, amazing. It, it, the attitude here is really what's cool because uh, everyone is so happy to be out looking at uh, amazing stuff. Let's see what we got here. Lots of hot rods. A little bit of vintage going on. But I'm loving this 59 Studebaker here. This truck. That's great. Lots of classics. I would say there's probably a couple hundred cars here. And uh, like I said, lots of turquoise. So we got some turquoise cards from the Murphy that we're going to um, uh, hand out just in the turquoise cars. Wait, turquoise truck, right? Turquoise truck right there. Yeah. It's the flavor of the day. I hope it's a uh, scratch and lick because that would be kind of nice. Uh, and there's some lemony things as well. There's some graphics that um, can be questionable. Although, some interesting striping going on there too. Yeah. Ford Deluxe, 40. Very nice. And uh, Johnny Martinez is here also doing some striping. We're going to go over and say hi to him. Brother. What's <laughs> up? We're doing live. What do you got to say for yourself? What I'm going to do is make it Welcome to the best show in Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the show officially called? This is uh, this is called. Um, yep. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> this is called Grooving in the Grove. Grooving in the Grove. Grooving That's what it's Grove. called. That's right. This is Gene Wenick. Uh What's your product here, Gene? PNS Detail Products. Mm -hmm. PNS. Yep. Everything you need to keep your car clean. Please. Everything. Yes. And, and, uh, any, and then some. You know what? I like just playing with these at home for no reason. And so the dogs, I bet, too. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Awesome. Where can people see find the stuff? Online. SantaBarbaraDetailSupply.com. There it is. There it is. All right, Gene. Thank good you to see you, buddy. Ball. All right. Lots of great people. Let's go over and see, uh, say hi to Johnny and look at some of his striping. Wicked lines right here. Sorry, this is backwards, but I'm uh, shooting with the reverse camera. Look at this cool stuff that Johnny's doing. Right Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Martinez. Sorry, guys. Come here, buddy. Right. Nice to meet you. Come here, buddy. Johnny, uh, what the hell are you doing hanging out over here on the grass? Well, I'm having a great time is what I'm doing. Yep. I'm just outside of Santa Barbara in the mm -hmm. town of Goleta. Mm -hmm. and, uh, of what's course, what's uh, Goleta famous for? Uh, Besides really cool beards. Uh, Maybe that you and I are here today. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, Johnny is a stripe master. He's going to be at the Murphy Auto Museum uh, in, on the 1st. August 1st. And you're going to be striping something special, aren't you? A really cool Volkswagen that kind of just mm -hmm. landed. It just kind of landed from, you know, some alien dropped it off out of a ship. It sure did. And it's purple, and it's amazing. Yeah, it uh, is. Uh, Chris is. Chris is car. Chris Escobar, great yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. All right. Good to see you, Johnny. Nice hey, to where see can you. people go and see more of your stuff? Uh, at Wicked Suede and Instagram, and I am uh, Johnny Martinez on Facebook. Yeah, that he is the master right there. Good to see you, Johnny. All right, let's go and look a, a little bit more. We're gonna make our way through the whole show because they're actually I've, I've walked through it already and spotted a few that are quite extraordinary. There's some classics over here, some nice stuff. But as we flip around, here's a uh, Raymond Lowy Champion. Look at this. These are very rare cars. In fact, we have one of these that is coming to the Murphy soon, hopefully, that's been donated. Keep our fingers crossed, 1950. Studi. Yeah, it's even got the guy's name on it. Yeah. Yeah, the class classics are just pieces of art, man. Just uh, gorgeous bullet nose. Yep, a little bit of Bronco love going on over here. 
Yeah, a lot of really good stuff. And like I said, it's just really great to see people out and about enjoying themselves. Chevy trucks, Chevelles, a lot of the standard stuff that you see at shows, which is nice, but every now and then a little gem shows up, something a little exciting, like uh, two twin Barracudas. How about that? There's one, and there's another one over there. Yeah. But next to them is two dudes from Oxnard that decided to put a, a tiny motor in their car, old school style. This is a city life Oxnard. It's a beast. This one comes to Muscles and Mojo. What's up, gentlemen? Good to see you. We're shooting live now. So wave. Yeah, they're exhausted. They've been, they've been, uh, there you go. Sitting in the sun. It's exhausting sitting next to your car and, and taking all those compliments. It's harsh, man. It's a rough life. It really is. Some Camaro, a Capri. Look at this Ford Capri. A lot more people now starting to show up. There's some beastliness going on there. Woohoo! Wow, that's cool. Dry car. Now that's a complete package right there. Um, the best part about this this uh, GMC, it's kind of a warm silver, really clean motor. But the best part is right down here. Yep, there he is, keeping an eye on things. That's the old school eye in the sky. You know how most new cars have. Uh, I think I just stepped in poop. Don't tell anybody. Uh, you know the the cameras on cars that that are exist now. What's up? Oh, there's some sketching going on. There we go. Yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. Looking good. Gary. Good job, Gary. Uh, as I was saying, that little eyeball, it doesn't really matter what I was saying because nobody cares. I think what matters is there's more cool cars. Look at this motor. Woohoo! Jeff and Stacy that's been inscribed on the motor. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, turquoise. More turquoise. What's up, Joe? Hey, we're shooting just live. Enjoying the show, yeah. Uh, this is Joe Danley, and uh, you brought in your your Camaro over here somewhere, I right? I did. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell got me about it. that car. What's so cool about that car? Well, it um, it's got the CPP Stage Four suspension kit. That's the that reason helps. I bought. Yeah, and it yeah. Uh, handles great. Mm -hmm. And you were on one of our episodes of This Is My Ride. That's right. Yeah, That's he's a right. star exactly. already in his yeah. own right. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll uh, be signing autographs over here later. <laughs> Uh, of all the cars in the show today, what's uh, what's something that stands out for you besides your own? This one right here yeah. that you just filled. This is what my when I met my wife, mm -hmm. she was driving a '64 GTO with a four-speed. Wow! Did you inscribe your name on the on the, the heads? No, but she was a keeper. Yeah, she was a keeper. And how long have you been married? Um, Last Monday, 53 so years. So long he has to think about it. it well, last Monday was our anniversary. 53, 53 years. Wow, man. I've got respect for anybody who can last 20 years. <laughs> 53 years. Way to go. Way to go. Yeah, I'm not sure how many years. I've, it's 1990, so. I didn't pay attention to math class. So. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. All right, good to see you, man. Likewise. Okay. All right, let's keep looking around because we got more shit going on. Mm -hmm. Here's a nice bus. Let's go check this out. A little B dub action. Almost like you can go right inside the car. Look at that. I just love these. It reminds me of going to camp when I was a kid. I would sit shotgun. You know, I always wanted the, the campers to come and pick me up first so I could get I could sit shotgun because when you look out the front of the bus, there's no front end. Oh, that's a nice setup. Look at these red lines. That's a full-size Hot Wheels right there. Wow, that is cool. That splitter is uh, quite nice. Wow, this is really clean. I think this is like houndstooth, huh? Really nice. That's yeah, looking good. So if you guys can't make it to a car show today, 
just come hang out with me and I'll show you everything there is that you need to see, including the doggies. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, yeah, there we go. Good to see you, good to see you. <laughs> Some Baja bugs. Where's light? So who we, uh, who we got today, uh, Dennis, what's going on? Cheryl Rice, good to see you. Thanks for joining me today. Joe, the green man himself. Sean Walter, Craig Casey, Dave Kleitz. Good to see you guys, Bruce Page. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, our show, we are up in um, in Goleta at Groovin, Groovin at the Grove. There's some 240 love, Fair Lady Z. Look at that. You know, it's Japanese when the mirrors are out. Uh, this is going to be one of the new episodes of This Is My Ride. This is a thousand horsepower hot rod. Twin turbo. Freaking crazy time is what that is. Yeah, bonkers. Like the guy swallowed 1,200 quaaludes and it turned into that car. There's some more doggies. Good morning, guys. How's everybody? There you go. See, I'm just showing you my phone. Look at that. That's a scruffy head right there. They say, where's the food? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, and then there's there's some cars of uh, that show from time to time. Uh, things that you uh, probably don't want to do with your hot rod. A little interesting. That's okay. To each his own. Spans on the phone. What's up? Skateboard matching uh, your Chevy. Quite nice. How about this? Myers Manx in lime green, no less. Very nice. Very cool. That's another episode that's coming down the pipe. There's a lot of chrome going on in there. The thing that's cool about chrome is not so much that it's chrome, is that it's reflecting all the different colors that are around it. And uh, it's always kind of fun to see what happens with that language. Uh, here's a Datsun. Is that a 1200? It's it's got a a bed on the back of it. I'm gonna come talk to you. It's a 1200. 63 or 64? 64. And it comes with a custom-made surfboard, which is always a plus. Yep. Very cool. With a Nissan motor, no less. All right, uh, give me your name. Jeff. Uh, Jeff, this car you've had for how long? Probably 10 years. Yeah. And you got a few others that are kind of, kind of funky. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's like a, a Hot Wheels addiction. It is. But they're a little bit larger. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And you can't keep them all in a box. You know, you need a garage, which is your box. So tell me about this car. What's the deal with this car? Well, it's a 1964 NL 320, and I put a turbo diesel in it. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty rare car. They only made 1,200 of them because it's got the unibody. Yeah. It's a pretty unique car. Pretty and you, unusual. you said you found it in a lemon orchard. I did. Did, Mom it, did it smell like lemons when you picked it up? <laughs> it was pretty lemony. Yeah. It was a lemon, all right. Yeah. So what are you on the hunt for now? What do you want to uh, get? Nothing, really. I'm kind of over it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got enough. We'll talk in about a week, and, and there'll be something new. <laughs> Good Thanks. to see you, man. Later. It's an obvious addiction, but... Uh, it's a good one. So let's take a look at some of these vans. It's neat. There's uh, four vans, and each one has kind of a different setup. This one's got a couch, wood siding, longboard table. That's pretty cool. That's number one. What do you guys think of that one? Let's take a look at number two. This one's hopped up in the back. It's got some uh, red, white, and blue activity in. A little bit of in the summer going on got some some carpet yeah you like guys like this one better it's got a dream catcher just in case you need one of those that's number two that's a dodge 
I guess the other one's a Dodge also, maybe. Madeira and... Uh... Oh, this is freaking awesome. I kind of like this one. This one's fully teakified. Yep. Yep, this one's it for me. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking number three. That one feels pretty good. And then here's the last one. We were talking skateboards, right? We were, yeah. Oh, the stickers. Pray for surf. Very nice. Some original history. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Which one, uh, which one makes the most sense? I don't know. I like the third one, the yellow one. It's kind of a scratch and, scratch and lick. All right, uh, this is the last row. We're going to take a look at this side. This is uh, Joe Danley's car, which I just mentioned. This is his uh, his Camaro. Has quite a nice setup. Although he didn't inscribe the uh, the valve covers. Oh, he's got some he's got some lifesavers in there. I should just steal them. Joe, if you're watching, I'm going to steal your lifesavers on the way back. Yep, there's an LS3 in that Camaro. Quite nice. Here's a nice hot rod. California paint. Mm -hmm. Takes a long time to do that. Special. Years and years for that to come about. Here's a nice uh, red line Camaro. Look at that. Yeah. Who makes red line tires? Does Coker do those? Yep, here's a new Camaro next to it. Yeah, I don't care too much about that one. Corvair 95 pickup truck. That's cool. Oh, a wagon. Sweet. This guy did my. That is a nice wagon. Look at that red interior. Yep. Oh, it's got a little guardian right there. I think I won't try to pet him. Country Square? Yep. Nice Ford. Hello. Aren't you cute? Yes, you're so cute. I love pet snakes. They're so pleasant to be around until they bite you. What else we got? A little bit of Mopar. A little bit of vet love going on. Yep. Some Corvair stuff. Here's a nice Lincoln. <laughs> That's a beast. The yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got one more row to go here. Let's go back in the corner and see what we got. Looks like there's a little sled going on back here. Something for sale. This is for sale, if any of you guys find that of interest. I don't know what year this is. It looks like a 50. Maybe a 50, 51. What do you guys think? Let me put up the number here. Although it's backwards, you guys can figure it out if anybody's interested in... Uh, Nice black beast. Victoria. Very cute. And if you're into purple, this has got some uh, some pearl going on in that paint job. Not my thing necessarily, but uh, everybody loves their cars. Oh, look, more turquoise. Mm -hmm. MG. And if you need a taxi, This, this gentleman comes to Muscles and Mojo from time to time. He has a new taxi that he just bought that he's going to be bringing. Crazy stuff. How about uh, military jeep? Quite nice. C600. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good stuff at the show. And uh, once again, turquoise hot rod. Look at this. This is a beauty. Is this yours? Yeah, that 
that's nice. That's a great setup. The white walls. Beautiful. Come back and take a picture. What's up, people? Mm -hmm. All right, we're just about to wrap it up. There's a few more cars here. I'll show you what's going on in Goleta for uh, grooving at the Grove. There are some vintage trailers on the other side. We might go in, over and say hi to David Neal over there. Some more California paint. All right, that's the show, my friends. That's what's going on here in Goleta. I uh, just felt like driving up here. I'm driving the Mazda 3 right now. It scoots. It's a pretty, pretty good car. It has a good design language, uh, which is called Kodos. And um, my friend uh, uh, um, from uh, Lucid, he's at Lucid now, Derek Jenkins. He was chief designer for Mazda when uh, um, they were working on these cars. He did a really great job. I can't find my glasses. Oh, there it is. So uh, we're going to walk around a little bit more. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys are having a spectacular Saturday. Tomorrow, join us at the Peterson Museum. We're going to go there for Iski's birthday, hang out with Bruce Meyer, and uh, see a lot of amazing cars. Okay? So if you got nothing to do, come on over to the Peterson 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'll be there with Tommy Scalera, and we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Adios!